everybody, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest is a rock and roll legend. As a founding member of Black Sabbath, he's a Grammy Award winner, and he has sold, get this, over 35 million records. His latest CD is entitled, The Oz Man Cometh. Let the madness begin. It's Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Annoying, huh? Yeah. yeah. This, this happens for most our guests. Yeah. They go crazy. Yeah. When we had Leo Sayer on this show, they just went crazy. How are you? I'm all right. I just flew in from LA. Uh... Yeah. You missed. You were supposed to be on. Just to clarify, we announced you were going to come on last Wednesday. Yeah, well, what but, happened? but you what didn't happened? come. I had this thing called gastroenteritis, which is a wonderful thing to have around this summer, dear. No more, would you believe we're ready to go home? My son has it. Oh, really? What are so, these side effects of this, uh, this, this disease? <laughs> well, it's a very smelly disease. <laughs> really, you don't should, I go, should I ask more? You don't, you don't want to go on a diet when you've got this problem, really, because you won't last very long. Really? But you're feeling well now? Yeah, hold on one sec. Hold on. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm feeling real <laughs> Oh, Ozzy. I thought he'd blow your kiss. <laughs> In all the... The five years that I've been doing this show, I never thought I'd say, oh, Ozzy. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, there's so much to talk about, so much in your past that, that I want to get straight. First of all, you're, you're famous, in addition to the music, for your stage annex. Oh, yeah. Your wild stage annex. And I found out recently that many of them, many of these crazy stage annex were your wife's idea. Is there, that right? There, there are, most of these crazy stage, stage annex are my wife's idea. Like, what kinds of ideas did she have? Well, are you just going to repeat everything I've said? Is that... <laughs> Well, well, That's your coping mechanism, isn't it, Ozzy? Yes, that is my coping mechanism. I feel like I'm at my therapist right now. <laughs> I can help you, Ozzy. We're here to help. Help me. <laughs> All right, so... No, uh, so well, for instance, one, one time... In the, in the early 80s, when it was all this gothic thing, you know, this, like, gothic stage uh, 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 sets and whatever. She, um... Did you just discover your hand? What is... <laughs> no, well, actually, I was shoplifting. So was... <laughs> you were talking and you were like, oh, look. <laughs> um, but so, what, 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 so they had this whole gothic thing, and, and what happened? Uh, I was looking at my very finger, actually. <laughs> so uh, my wife comes up with this idea. She says, Ozzy, I've got this great idea of you coming out in this big, giant hand. I said, what do you mean? She said, we'll push, after, at the end of the show, we'll push this big giant hand, it's like that, and you, you sit in the middle of the hand, and, and the fingers are all got pyro flames in there, right? Mm -hmm. And there's this big uh, sling, a slingshot at the back with, with, with about five or ten pounds of offal in the back. And I said... Offal? I, I mean, what, yeah, meat? Like, like meat testicles and, and <laughs> penises and... What, you look like animal testicles? Well, not human testicles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't do that because that would be absurd. Yeah. Leo okay. Sayer Leo Sayer went on that. <laughs> so so you you have let me let me you got this mechanical got hand. Mecha and You're I, in the I, middle of I'm it. I'm in the middle, and at the back here is this sling with all these these balls and <laughs> and everything. Else. Okay. Okay. You know, and all these goos and what. Sure, yeah, yeah. Now she says when the pyro fingers explode, you've got to press this button and all these awful will fly into the audience. Now, Great, honey. You're going to throw these testicles at the audience? Yeah, well, <laughs> but we were going down badly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what happens? So what happens? The, 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 uh, unbeknownst to me, this, this rubber band had been taught from 2 o'clock in the afternoon until about 11 o'clock in the evening. So I, I come for my big finale, and I go like this, and I push this thing, and it goes... <laughs> slap! <laughs> Now I'm standing. Now I'm standing there like the Prince of Darkness with all these gothic girls and all this blood and snot and crap. And I just went, good night, bro. Oh! I've done anything to see that. What are we on? You know, I, I, we got. Let's take a commercial break, cause, cause I, I have so much to ask that I, I want more time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. More with Ozzy Osbourne in just a second.
sitting here with Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, you have um, you really started this whole business of, of being a big enemy of the religious right, didn't you? Oh yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give them a reason to be, be you know. I mean, they used mm -hmm. to follow me around everywhere, especially in, uh, mainly, mainly in America, though, nowhere else in the world. You'd come to America on a tour and they would seek you out. They would oh, want to... Uh, 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 they'd follow me in my bus, I'd put, uh, hang up my hotel room. But uh, most of them didn't even know what I looked like, you know. Mm -hmm. You once had a, oh, you had a confrontation I, 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 with someone once, right? A really weird story. Um, I was doing a, a show down in Texas and there'd been this uh, evangelist guy that was trying to ban the show, you know. So I'd got there at about six in the morning and uh, I'd got a bad throat because I've been on a, a bit of a bender for the last week or two. And I no. Going, that was when I used to do that, but I don't do that anymore. Right, right. <laughs> uh-huh. And it's really water. Mm-hmm. And, um... I got down at seven. I, I used to have this bodyguard that was an ex-Vietnam vet, Vietnam vet. It was crazy. Anyway, if he saw... He was it, your bodyguard, a crazy Vietnam vet? Uh, this guy was like... I, I didn't know that at the time. Most of the time when I had a bodyguard, I was, I was, they were, if they didn't kill anybody every three weeks, they didn't think they were doing their job. And I'd go, no violence, you know. It was mm -hmm. like keep having a dog, sit, boy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and so we get into this hotel, and uh, I, I said to the guy, this guy, Larry, I said, Larry, go and get me a doctor. I want a doctor for around 12 o'clock, you know. A doctor, OK. For a throat doctor. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I got up, I went to bed at about 7, and I got up about 11, and went downstairs for the, to the coffee shop, and I said to this, Larry, Larry, go and, go and tell the guy at the reception that when the ear, nose and throat guy comes, I'll be in the coffee shop. Now, unbeknownst to me, the coffee shop had been staked out with all these evangelists. So this, I'm, si I'm sitting in the coffee shop drinking coffee, and there's this crazy Vietnam... I like the idea of you walking into a Texas coffee shop. I was like, you know, that, that, that was a movie there yeah. somewhere. <laughs> you come here, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're having your coffee. I'm sitting there having my coffee, and this guy's like, keeping guard like a good terrier, you know. Mm -hmm. And this guy comes over to me, and, he, and he's got a smart suit and a jacket on and a tie and whatever. And he goes, are you Mr. Ozzy Osbourne? I think he's a duck. And I go, oh, yeah. And he goes, put Jesus in front of you! And they all start jumping on me. Of course, he's been... <laughs> and I'm like thinking, my God, what's going on? It's, it's come to the show. All these, all these people are strategically planning to <laughs> sure. like, attack me. And this uh -huh. guy turns into Rambo, starts throwing them through all the walls and the right <laughs> chair. <laughs> And I'm, I'm going, Larry, no, don't kill. We don't kill today. <laughs> we don't kill today. That's the... <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we kill, but not today. Now, it's hard for me to believe, but a couple of years ago, you retired. Why did yeah. you retire? Well, I'm one of these people that, 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 that always says things that I later regret, you know? Like, people, people... Now I say, people say to me, oh, is there going to be a reformation of the original Black Sabbath? And I go, let's wait and see, because I, if I go, yeah, it won't happen. If I go, no, it will happen. Right. So my wife said at the beginning of, of the one, two, well, what do you want to do after these two hours? I said, retire. So I thought, great, I'm still... I've got breath in my lungs. I can still see. I don't need a, a walking stick yet, and I, I don't need... I haven't got a, what, a colostomy bag quite yet. <laughs> You could have stopped at the other examples, well, Ozzy. You know, I, I like to get graphic. I like fine to get, with the other examples. I like to get very graphic. Yeah, I mean. I, we heard that, yeah. <laughs> and, so, uh, and so, what did you do in your spirit? Did you go fishing? Well, I went fi oh, I went, that lasted for all the tackle. We went fishing. How do you fish? What do you like when you go fishing? I'm, if I don't catch a fish in the first three minutes, dynamite goes in there. <laughs> dynamite goes I, in the I water? I guarantee to catch a fish. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get fish pieces, yeah. No, you throw dynamite in the water? Yeah, no, no, it explodes. Now you'll come to the top and you haven't got to sit there like an idiot for all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see your episode of Good Fisherman. I've got, I've got yeah. loads of good trophies on the wall. They've all got holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> you're also, uh, I want to ask you uh, something. You're a, you're a Victorian art collector. Yeah, uh, I collect Victorian art. Well, be, be the reason why, I, I collect a Victorian women. Because they look like women. Now, in this, I don't know whether I'm old-fashioned or what, but women, the models today look like they need a good sandwich, you know. <laughs> they do, most of them. You know, but I don't know about any, any of the audience, but I have a daughter uh -huh. of 14. She won't eat, you know. She, cause she, she, she's, like a, she's like a lath, and I'm going, I'm, like, I'm, trying, I'm trying to sneak potato chips when she's asleep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> If I woke up in the middle of the night and Ozzy Osbourne was trying to put a chip in my mouth... <laughs> well, I've got one in my head. You know? <laughs> I wanted to finally ask you, because uh, we're, we're running tight on time, but um, did you go and see the movie Spinal Tap? Well, yeah, And what did you think of it? Well, 
Uh, the funny thing about Spinal Tap, when I went to see it, I was the only person in the audience that wasn't laughing because it really was like a documentary. So <laughs> those things actually happened. I mean, everybody was going, oh, number, th number 11, that happened. <laughs> that happened when they got lost going to the stage. That happened. No, what you got that? lost going to the stage. Oh, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm the practical joker. When you go into these, these big shows, and it's got uh, so and so, so and so, this one, they've got gap attack arrows. Right. And, I, and I'm always to show you which way to go. I'm always changing the arrows around. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> They end up back in the foyer going, well, where's the season? <laughs> <laughs> so you're sitting there, everyone's laughing, you, you're thinking... I'm going, I'm going, look at this jerk here, the rock star of the year with his entourage of 9,000 people, and he's ended up back in the car park. <laughs> uh, the Ozman Cometh, I want to mention this. This is, um, this is in stores now. Yeah. And uh, available everywhere. A great stocking stuffer for the holidays, don't you think? Yes, folks. <laughs> It's Ozzy Osbourne, corporate chill. Hey, Ozzy, thanks so much for coming. Ozzy Osbourne, everybody.